What's going on, y'all? Sam Five Judge. We got a very special guest in the house today. We have Cartel Count up here. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? Count up! <laughs> yeah, it's Cartel Count up in the building. I appreciate y'all having me here at the 75 Junction, man. Absolutely, bro. I appreciate you coming out, man, and showing love, you know what I'm saying? So, for those who don't know you, man, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do? Yeah, I'm Cartel Count Up. I'm Pusha T artist. I'm sponsored by 1800 Tequila. I got so much going on, but we're going to break it down in the interview. We're going to break everything down for y'all. Okay, bet. Definitely, man. I'm ready to get right into it, man. So, first thing first, let's talk about the Pusha T situation. So, how did how did that get set up and moving forward? How do you feel about just getting the opportunity to work with, you know, what I would call a hometown hero, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Push a T, you know, that's he's seven five seven, you know what I'm saying? You hear seven five seven, you think push a T, you know, Pharrell and, and them. So what what was that like? It's still mind blowing to me sometimes because mm-hmm. it's like he damned me. So, you know, he damned me and I'm mm-hmm. like, I ain't know what to do. I left it on red. Mm-hmm. For like 12 hours Like I didn't know what to do with myself I'm like I'm calling everybody Like yo what do I do Do I call them FaceTime them Do I text them mm-hmm. So I finally just Text them Send him some songs over He like bro You super fucking dope I believe in you Like your style Everything Like Then like I meet him Actually the day after he DM'd me 103 Jams called me For a meet and greet mm-hmm. Like out of nowhere Okay the next day after, like, he DM'd me, we talking, 103 Jams, call for the meet and greet. I'm supposed to go to Miami. I canceled the Miami trip. Mm-hmm. So I just go to the meet and greet on Monday. He, like, I asked him, I'm like, bro, you set this up, the meet and greet? He, like, nah, this is God. Because I ain't set this up. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way you could have set this up. No, I mean. Right. So we just been rocking since then. And it just so happened, like, bro, just believe in me, like. Not only just him, a lot of other people believe in me in Virginia, too. Like, his friends, like, that's what made him so much believe in me. Like, when he found me, mm-hmm. and I sent him some music, you know, of course, he sent it to Pharrell. And, you know, everybody didn't listen to my music. Like, when I see them people, they come dat me. Like, Cartel, like, they know me already. I'd be like, I still be in awe. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, definitely. But it's just like, I feel like hard. As long as you work hard, somebody going to see it one day. That's why you just continue to, like, run your sprints and work hard then somebody gonna see it definitely man so you that de- you, you mentioned and, and touched on how how you still a little awestruck about it and you know meeting these these big names and things like that so when you actually got reached out by Pusha T and, and you started seeing things kind of coming to fruition what what was that process like like you know feeling like all my hard work is finally paying off now where do I go from here like how, how did you deal with that situation um it felt like everything was paid off, but um, honestly, people don't know, like, when you get in this, everything start over again. That's mm-hmm. why I felt like, for me at least, like, all right, now starting all the way from the bottom, we got to build this building up again, like, right. to make it what it's supposed to be. Like, before mm-hmm. we was building a house, you know, like the three pigs, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they had their two houses we built and we built it, but now we got to build a stable brick house to make this shit the foundation. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk about some of your jewelry that you got on, man. So what, what are we rocking with, man? I see you got I the count up chain. Count you know what I'm saying? You got the grilling. Ice grill's out by grill. Gold God. Ice ring. Okay. Apple Watch. Okay. Apple Watch is Extra always icing. important. <laughs> <laughs> what shades you got on, bro? Huh? What shades you got oh, on? Oh, these man? is Fendi. These is by um Thomas Eyewear. Well, okay. they're from Thomas Eyewear, but they're by Fendi. These is Fendi shades. Okay. But okay. like everything I shop, these are these is from my guy in Hampton. Mm-hmm. You know, my jewelry all come from the God and Grill. You know what I mean? Like, all my jewelry. Like, okay. that's just my thing. Like, I don't want to do it if it ain't from 7.5. Mm-hmm. Like, I want the 7.5 to be the best thing ever. I feel like 7.5 is the most unique state in America. Yes, man. Thank you. I, I be trying to tell people all the time, bro. Like, the 757 is a very unique pool of talent. You know what I'm saying? Yes. A lot of people don't understand that. So if we can put each other on and, and work together, you know what I'm saying, and, and just build something as a community, yeah. that's what we need. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what we need to come together and, and build each other up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because we don't we don't do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people all. just trying to try to worry about themselves. We don't have a signature sound. We don't have a signature sound that's because facts. everybody is so creative. Mm-hmm. So people get mad so much like, yo, Virginia doesn't have a sound because we are the sound. That's true. We are the everything that come out that speaker is Virginia. Mm-hmm. Like. Everything that's like most of the time, where five times out of ten, if it's hot, 
a Virginia person was behind the scenes on it. If they yeah. wrote it, they made the beat, or just something. Mm-hmm. So I feel like our wave is like a wave that's always going to be here, but it's always going to get overlooked because the artists. We so much in the background, like our sounds is so much in the background until we have an artist who going to rep Virginia and stay in Virginia and mm-hmm. like bring everybody up to it. We're not going to ever get the, the notoriety because we got people. I, I, I hate saying this about Drum because he's actually like, the king of our side of the water, Hampton, Newport right, News. Right, yeah, because you came from Hampton, right? Yeah, like, he used to so, work like, out of PTC type shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I really done met bro before. I remember, not to be funny, because I always been a person who, like, hustled and had a little bit of bread. So it's like, mm-hmm. bro used to take pictures at parties. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that, but for him to come from that to go to drum, I feel like he need to express that to the younger kids. Like, hey, you could be this one day and turn it around. I feel like we be needing more inspiration around here. No, abs- absolutely, bro. Like, like you said, we need inspiration. We need those things, like, like the hometown heroes, and yeah. and you know, shout out to Pharrell, man. You know, give Mets community doing something in the water. You know, shout out to you too. You know, what yeah, I'm saying Cartel no. Count Up. You know, what I'm saying sponsored this message, <laughs> yeah. shit like that. You know, what I'm saying we rocking out here, seven five seven. So speaking of something in the water, man, can you tell me a little bit about like, were you did you go to something in the water? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, how how did you feel about it, man? Like me personally, like. Everything was love, bro. Like it was just a lot of positive energy, and it just really solidified and showed what Seven Five Seven has to offer. I ain't never seen no festival on the beach, bro. Like never. that shit was crazy. I'ma honestly tell you the truth, cause me and um Grill God and Zoe, we was on the beach. Mm-hmm. So, like we was on the beach. I'm on the beach smoking gas in the crowd, um throwing shit. No, I'm saying the, uh what's the balloons, the the uh jumps, but. Just, I didn't realize how big it was until, like, some girls walked past me and, like, man, mm. this is the best day of my life. I mm. looked at her. I'm, like, I had to think, like, damn, is this the best day of my life, too? Mm-hmm. Because I've never been in no shit like that. Right. Nobody has. Nobody. And I had to tell people who didn't go, like, you think it's, it's big for Virginia? No, it's big for the world. For the world. Like, the world hasn't seen that. Like, Definitely. so much people, because... People who be out of town a lot, like me, Grill, and us, and we be out of town. We go out of town damn near every month and be around people. Like, so a lot of people don't know what Virginia is. Yeah. They only know it from us. Right. And then we got to argue with down. Like, yo, that's where Pusha T from. That's where Pharrell from. That's where Timberland from. That's where AI from. That's where Vic from. Then we got to run down this long list to explain to people, yo, Virginia is this shit for real. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's one of the things, like, when I did the 1800 jump, when Push got me the 1800 jump, it was so amazing for the people in L.A. to see me and Push talk about Virginia like that. Mm-hmm. Like, it had the same mentality about it because they think we, well, I want to say they think, people think that because we're on the low side of things, we don't have the same mentality as Pharrell and them. Mm-hmm. The same, they get the same things happening to them as we happen. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, it's it's just Virginia. Like, we just got to figure out how, well, they're figuring it out now, like, to deal with the culture, to embrace the culture rather than push it away and be like, oh, this is a white state. Right. No, definitely. I, and I feel like that Virginia kind of gets that stigma because it is a southern state. But Virginia is unique, man. That's why I tell people all the time because Virginia, like, it depends on where you're at in Virginia because certain parts are northern, certain parts are southern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Depending on where you're at Virginia. It's exactly. it's almost like a different culture. Like, if you go out west in Virginia, it's just like, like, hillbilly bumfuck country. You don't know what's going on. Banjo's playing in the background That's type true. shit. You know what I'm saying? Racism, you know, Hills, Trump, all mountains. that stuff. Right, yeah, mountains. You know I mean? and, and that's another unique thing about Virginia is the the change in terrain. Like, if you want the beach, we got the beach. Provide, albeit not a great beach, it's still a beach. You know what I'm saying? You still it's got the, the water, you got the sand. It's the best beach in the world. <laughs> it's For the us. first. It's, no, nah. I'm, I'm going to tell you, this is fact, bro. Mm-hmm. Virginia Beach was Miami before Miami. That's true. No, definitely. Because, like, as far as, like, the strip and stuff like that, yeah. like, yeah, that, that was, like, know, ground zero type. Yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's the first beach when you go down south. It, if we're going down the east coast. It's the first beach. Damn. Everything else is a Chesapeake Bay or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's now she mentioned that's facts, bro. yeah, because then you got, like, 
you know, Yorktown, you got like um like further down south, you got like Myrtle Beach and yeah, stuff like that. But that's Myrtle that's going for the south. It's Orlando and then yep. it's Miami. No, that's like, fast. Okay, I didn't think about that. That's yeah, dope. So we got we got the beach, we got the mountains, you know what I'm saying? Like if you want like like outdoors type shit, you want mountains, you know, we got mountains. If you want the club scene, we got that up in Nova yes. in DC area, you know what I'm saying? We got everything. It's just about placing yourself in the right spot and finding that move with that wave that you're trying to be on. You know yes, what I'm saying? A lot of people sure. don't realize that about Virginia. So in, in regards to something in the water, can we expect to see you performing next year possibly? For sure. Hell yeah, let's get it. Don't think I ain't asked this year. Hell yeah. Only reason, bro, I, I asked before, look, this is one thing about me. I knew Jay-Z was coming. Mm. I knew Beyonce was coming. Like, a lot of people still don't know Beyonce was backstage. No, but facts. That's his wife. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Facts. So, she, she where he is most of the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So... The whole thing about it, you know, when I asked, that's what they brought out for me. They put that ticket on the joint, like, hey, I'm trying to perform. What up? You pulling me out? He like, look, man, that's the first thing. Excuse, bro. Hey, Jay and Beyonce performing, man. Mm-hmm. You don't even got to give me no more excuses after that. I'm just going to enjoy it after that. Once Facts. he told me that, I don't even care about performing no more. Once he said Jay-Z, Beyonce, and it was so many, it's for real, it's a lot of people who didn't come because of that Friday. Right, it right, because he got rained out. and friends every day. Right. He just had to smush that one little set, you know what I mean, because Friday got canceled. And I was really going out there to see Uzi, too. Yeah, no, Uzi, yeah, that... Free Uzi. Yeah, definitely, man, definitely. So, in regards to 1800, can we talk about that deal? Like, how did you how did you get that, that set up, and, and what's that been like working with 1800 and just okay. being sponsored by them or is it like sponsored or? yeah sponsor I'm okay sponsored. sponsor yeah so yeah. How, how's how's that work out i mean i actually just got it just being at the in the right place at the right time mm-hmm. like def jam had a uh a listening party so i was invited to the listening party okay so i went up to def jam for the listening party and when T got the call for the 1800 joint, i just happened to be there you know mm-hmm. what i mean like he like, Cartel, like, I might got something for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right. You know, I'm just going with, with whatever say, bro say, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I done had other things come on the table and bro say, hey, bro, I asked bro first. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's loyalty with me over everything. But I was just right there, bro. Like, my background check when it came through. So that was the biggest thing. Like, we had to go background checks for the 1800 jump. Once mm-hmm. that went through, ooh, wee. <laughs> they flew us out to Cali. They had oh, us in the, in the Hidden Hills. Like, the first two nights, like this, bro, it was stuff on the wall. Because, you know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a weirdo. So we in the crib, and I'm telling the 1800 people, like, yo, yeah, this crib costs $8 million. They're like, how you know? I'm like, I Zillow did already. No, I'm saying like <laughs> I still owed it. Like I'm not about to play with y'all. Right. Like I'm here. Like I know what's going on. They like yeah. They then they start Zilla. They didn't even know. Oh, I'm damn. like yeah. So cause it's, I only reason I did it cause we were walking around. I see paintings on the wall mm-hmm. that cause I like art. Right. It was paintings on the wall, bro. That's that cost more than my mama house. You know That's what I mean? crazy. Like you seeing stuff like it, it was a boss guy in there, bro. Damn. Like, and it wasn't even in the, like, it was hallways with painting. It was, like, in the the back room, it was a Basquiat painting. I was like, yo, whoever house this is, like, I feel like 1800, they did that on purpose. They just wanted to open our mind, like, mm-hmm. we recorded in the best studio in Beverly Hills, like, the same place where Michael Jackson recorded Thriller. Oh, I recorded shit. I recorded my song then. Like Damn. So like, I was like real nostalgic type. Like you felt like, damn, yeah. I'm in the same room as a legend. Bro, I laid like it's the speakers built in the, the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Cause Michael Jackson used to lay on the ground and listen to his music. He ain't used to sit in a chair like regular people. He used to lay on the ground. So you know, when I did my song, I laid on the ground, listened to my music on the floor. People looking at it like they coming in taking pictures of me, like, yo, Cartel, why you doing it? I'm like, cause Michael did it. If Michael did it, I need to do it. No, definitely. So, in doing that, did you feel like, like you could absorb the music or enjoy it better, or was it just more so? I don't know. Michael did it, and I was drunk. It was eighteen (laughs) hundred tequila. Michael did it. No, I figured they had. It was. It was one of the moments. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because that's my first time ever being around liquor so free. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's coming back to back. Like, hey, you need another bottle? Uh, Damn. That's one thing about the liquor thing. Like, and. 
they made sure we were fed so nobody ever got drunk. Mm-hmm. Everybody hydrated. Like, that's my first time being on liquor. Like, that was the best moment, one of the best moments of my life. I'm not going to lie. Like, just being out L.A., mm-hmm. being able to drink f- free liquor all day, being in the best studio i ever been in. Like, this is when Michael Jackson recorded. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's crazy. They had the lyrics to bad that he wrote on the wall you know what i'm saying yeah in a case like this it was all blowing my mind because i'm really like a michael jackson fan like damn then imagine being the only one out the whole 10 people from virginia yeah the that's... same place as pusha t so it was like so much on my back that's crazy bro so i mean damn I can't even imagine, bro, like, just being in the present, like, not even the present, but, like, in the room of where Michael Jackson at. You got the writing on the wall, his lyrics, like, that's that's a captivating experience. Yeah, not yeah. A, no, there's very few people that can say, like, yeah, I've been in that room where Michael Jackson recorded this song, you know what I'm saying, where he that's listened to the music on the floor. I got to lay on the same floor he laid on and, rec- and, and listen to my music, you know what I'm saying? Not many people can say that, bro. Bro, now that you say it, now that I think about it, like, damn, I did do that shit. But it's so hard doing stuff like that and then coming back home because mm-hmm. you can't really talk about it. I can't. I mean, you can, but it all it comes off as bragging where mm-hmm. we come from. So it's a lot of stuff that I go through. I be forgetting sometimes until I do an interview or I talk to somebody like because right. just like grilling them and Zoe would tell you like. Mm-hmm. We be around these a lot of famous people all the time. You forget certain things, like until somebody starts talking, you be like, "Damn, yo, I did do this. Right? I I was with him. I did smoke with him before. Like you be like, I forgot all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Because like, it's business as usual at that yeah, point. You know what I'm saying? Because you point. always around it. So, how did you link up with like Grill God Miguel and then uh, I'm not Grill God Miguel. I'm sorry, Grill God Miguel and Grill God Zoe. Like, how did that come about? Like y'all meeting up and linking up and working with them as far as jewelry is concerned and things like that. I mean, honestly, I was DM him, DMing him for mm-hmm. a while. He just was like, he ain't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't fuck with me. This is, I'm going to mm. keep it honest because it's so much people out here who play. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to decipher. Uh, by the way, we got uh, Miguel and Zoe <laughs> right, right outside of where we're doing the interview at. We just did the interview with them uh, not too long ago, but <laughs> my bad, bro. Continue. <laughs> yeah, no, no. They weak out here. <laughs> so don't get mad if he egg you. We just gotta decipher who's serious and who not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when bro see me out south by by myself, like he like, oh, you serious? Like this what you want to do? Like a lot of people say they want to rap, but they're not gonna put what what Steve Harvey say they're not gonna jump off the cliff. Right. They like, bro, you see all this equipment you have in here, everything, you jumped off the cliff. That's why it's going to work for you. You know mm. what I'm saying? A lot of people are scared. Like, they're going to put minimal money. They're going, they not going to do what they need to really do. They're going to get low quality, everything, like, right. just to get by instead of just doing everything right. Like, yeah, that's, that's why I, I always tell people, you know, you get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? You, you put in the money, you put in the work. You're going to get the quality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You put in the time, you're going to get the quality. Same That's thing with, with with music. You know what I'm saying? Like, you put in the time, you're going to get the quality. You know what I'm saying? So, talking about music, let's talk about some of your projects that, uh, well, you just recently released uh, Counter Cartel 2, correct? Counter right? Season 2, yeah. Counter Season 2, yeah. So, can we talk a little bit about that and what the process was like, what went into that, and, and how you've developed as an artist from the beginning to where you are now? Um, Honestly, it was more so from, like, one of my bros telling me, like, yo, you got everything else. Once you work on your music, it's over for you. Like, you mm. gone. You know what I'm saying? And him right. just sit, letting me be in the studio and work on my voice because that's what... um Everybody can rap. Mm-hmm. Rapping is not hard. But studio is hard. Right. Like, being in the studio, that's a, like a whole nother tool. We could all rap and say words and get on the mic. But being in that studio and making it sound a certain way and making it come out like it's a whole different vibe. And I I always thank like Rick Rogers for that. Like, thank you, bro. Mm-hmm. And I'ma say that me and him don't even get along like that, like how we used to. But I always thank him for that because 
Nobody ever did that for me. And I have, I know a lot of people with money. My brother has his own studio. You know what I mean? He right. sat me down, pulled me to the side, like, bro, you got everything you need. You just need to rap more. Okay. I, I always been fly. always, you know what I'm saying? Look how I look, but my music would never caught up. Once my music caught up, that's when it was time for me. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Okay, worry. I, I feel you on that. So, so with your projects and, and you being signed to push your T, what are, what are we looking like as far as timetable for the next project? And can we expect a Pusha T feature on the upcoming tracks that you got on that next project? Um, you could definitely, like, the Pusha T feature ain't even nothing. Like, mm -hmm. that's easy. That's the easiest thing. But to me, I don't even want to do it no feature way because I feel like I want to be, I want the world to know how good I am for real. Definitely. That's why, I didn't, like, this next project, No Hard Feelings, like, it's all me. And mm -hmm. it's like, it's eight songs. I want to say, to me personally, it's four undeniable songs up there. They all sound like undeniable. Like, everybody waiting for customers, but they don't even know the follow-up to customers is way better than customers. You know what I mean? Definitely. This, Definitely. And this way, T tell me, he be like, bro, I can't believe they're going crazy for that shit because what you call it way better than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, I mean... But right now, for the videos for that, we um Spud McKenzie gonna shoot those videos. We waiting for uh Spud McKenzie to come back with the uh the write up for customers. I got my write up for my other two videos. Mm -hmm. But um Spud McKenzie putting the, together the look book for the the videos. Okay, word. That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. And I and I like that answer too because you said you wanted to be just you and you want people to like you for you. And a lot of people don't see it like that you know what i'm saying a lot of people get caught up in like oh well if i get this big name up here you know what i'm saying i'm gonna take off which isn't always true you know what i'm saying because no. they go in there just for the big name they're not no. really going there for you whereas if you offer them a project and you already signed the big name you know yeah. what i'm saying you already right. got the big name now you just you just getting everything trickling down to you because yeah. the big name they're gonna promote you too they're gonna yeah. put you on they because on you're their ID. artist you know what i'm saying they want you to succeed just as much as they want to succeed so they're gonna put you on too and that's gonna just elevate it that much more you yeah. know what i'm saying one thing I learned about this whole music, with anything, even with them doing jewelry and Mark putting them on, mm -hmm. can't nobody really put you on. They can only put you in position yeah, for you nice. to put yourself on. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what I'm learning so more, like more and more every day about this. Like, Can't nobody put you on. Because if somebody could put you on, it would have been rappers from Virginia popping. Think about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, there's a lot of... Rappers from Virginia that I know of that are good, you know what I'm saying? Like like my boy Full Metal, like he's like he's really good. He's got his own unique sound. He's actually fire, and I know exactly what you're talking about. Right? Yeah. Like I like you know like I I give my hats off to him because he actually busts his ass. Like we was just in New York shooting a video. Like he went to New York just to shoot a video just to get those looks. You know what I'm saying? And he like I ain't, I ain't trying to put his business out, but he's dropping. Pretty much most of his money to make his craft work out for him, you know what I'm saying? And that's what people don't realize. They don't understand you have to sacrifice so much to actually make it, you know what I'm saying? And actually get somewhere in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's been on Elevator, he's been on all this shit. That's but what I'm saying. That shit's not like like Elevator and, and you know, uh, what's what's the other one that is a big... Um, Revolt? No Jumper and, no, and no Revolt, jumper. Yeah, yeah, and all that stuff. I mean, they're going to get you some clout, but... That's not gonna put you on. It's not gonna you know put you saying? on. Yeah, like so. it's just gonna give you a, a some accolades. Right, but I mean, you gotta you know, do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So definitely, man. So can you can you just tell me about the the process and the grind? Like, what did you have to go through as an artist to to get to where you are today? Just like you said, for metal did. Like I I just like me and Big Will talk about this all the time because that's my homie. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And that's really why like. My grind is different from everybody else because I actually seen somebody go up and go down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I seen it in front of my eyes. I watched everything he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my bro. I was there for every turn up game, you know what I'm saying? The video, everything. Like, mm -hmm. so I watched it and I really be like, all right, when my time came, I already knew, like, all right, no playing around. We're not going to enjoy it. We're going to have to find that enjoyment inside our job. You mm. know what I mean? And we're just going to have to keep making songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, you you got to figure you make so much music. I mean, you're going to get accustomed to it. You're going to find your sound. You're going to start to get in a rhythm. And eventually something got to give. 
something. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make enough music, and there's going to be one hit in the 100 songs that you make that's yeah. going to take off. You know what I'm saying? It's that's just about fact. placement. It's about dedication, hard work, and making sure that you get your music in the hands of the right people. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of people don't understand how powerful the internet is. You know what I'm saying? Like, all it takes is the right person, that one person, to see your thing and your platform, and they be like, I fuck with that. Let me go ahead and put on for that. Or let me hit them up and, and help them elevate. You, you just know what describe I'm my situation with Pusha T. Right. You know he what I'm saying? Like, before he, before he even, like, told me, hey, you my artist, like, I already been on DJ Small Eyes. I already mm-hmm. been on Revolt TV. Mm-hmm. I already been on a million things. Like, I already was working. So when I sat down with him and I'm coming, he already heard my music and I'm sitting down with him and I'm fly. He like, bro, like, it make... It just, I be making him look good sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. when we out of town and I'm just doing me and I'm not even, they be like, who is that? They be like, oh, that's Cartel. Like, that's my artist. He be like, yo, bro, got it. Like, okay. So it's just like, people just want to make, for real, for real, people want to, people want to put people on, but at the same time, like, it's so hard to put people on because the disloyalty. Yeah. And then you, you know, like, when you vouch for somebody, and they fuck it up, you know, like, people don't trust that person who, who vouched for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You don't want to fuck that up for him. No, definitely, man. And in regards to, you know, people vouching and, and it getting fucked up, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, when when you vouch for somebody, that's that's your name that you're attaching to that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you're saying, sir. like, I'm saying that this person is good. I'm saying this person is about everything yes, that I'm sir. saying they're about. And a lot of people don't understand how powerful that is to to have somebody like push a T vouch for you, you know what I'm saying? Because that around here that that means a lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot. Like, and like, that's, that's crazy. A lot, and it's not just around here, bro. It's a the world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like he's the a world, respected you know worldwide. Like yeah, definitely. At first, bro. I used to be shy by saying that. Like I mm-hmm. used to tell people I'm push a T artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then it's just like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I didn't want. I didn't. I always felt like I wanted to be me and mm-hmm. I wanted people to like like me for me. So I never wanted to be like, yo, I'm T artist, yo. I'm right. Such and such the next nigga out of Virginia. Like I wanted my work ethic to speak for me. That's why I never like give off that vibe or the cockiness. I always wanna be the humble giant. I always wanna be like just me. I don't never wanna be having to act like, oh, I'm shitting on niggas. Like, mm-hmm. I could do that with my work ethic. I don't have to do it with my mouth. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely, bro. And, and- when you put out that you're pushing these artists, that brings a lot of disingenuous people around you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of yeah. people that aren't genuine, a lot of people that want to use you as a as a as a outlet, basically, to get yes, that stuff right. out, or or to to try and just use you in general. You know what I'm saying? Like people, Bro. a lot of people will do that. A lot of people are underhanded and cutthroat like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's good that you are so focused on you, even though you're under that umbrella, you're still focused on you. You're like, I'm my own artist, even though I'm signing to him. Yeah. I still got to make a name for myself. And I still got to put on for myself in my in my city, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of which, where where you come from? You know, you, you from, from the 757 area? Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. from Hampton. I'm in Hampton. I mean, I live in Newport News, too, so mm-hmm. I always feel like Hampton and Newport News is one city. <laughs> no, that's facts, bro. That's I always I tell feel like that. Bro. Yeah. I tell everybody that Hampton and Newport News is one city. It's just like, it's separated and it's different everywhere. Like downtown, uptown, Hampton. Like, I just feel like it's all the same thing. But mm-hmm. I'm from Hampton. I'm from Hampton Club, Hardy Cash, and Shell Road. Like, those are my areas. You know what I mean? No, I feel you on that. But, that. like, I just feel like, honestly, like, Hampton and Newport News is all one thing. Because it's like, it's no way you could live on one and not live in the other. Even mm-hmm. as... If you was a kid or as a grown up, know what I mean? Yes. Like I, when I first, I lived in Newport News before I lived in Hampton. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's just how it went for me. Know what I mean? But I was in Hampton more when I was older, so mm-hmm. I feel that more. Know what I'm saying? Because I learned more. Know what I mean? Absolutely. Now I, I, I feel you on that one, man. Because I mean, like, like you said, Hampton Newport News pretty much is is the same city. Yeah. Like, like, I live in Newport News, but it's, like, literally on the cusp of Hampton and Yorktown. Like, it's literally, like, within a regular commute distance. You know what I'm saying? Five like minutes, you, <laughs> right. so you're in another city. You <laughs> exactly. know what I mean? Like, I stayed basically in Newport News. I stayed on Orchid. Mm. Know okay, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So, know, that's yeah, yeah. Hampton for real. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. it's Newport News. Like, it's Orchid. 
No, you know I mean, definitely, bro. That, and that's why I tell people, man. So you know, you say you look, you make push to look good. Sometimes you fly and stuff like that. So let, let's talk about some kicks, man. What's your favorite pair of shoes, bro? My favorite, I like right now. Raph Simmons is like my my top shoe, like comfortability okay. and style wise. Cause that's mm-hmm. what, as I got older, it wasn't just about just the shoes no more. It's about being comfortable too and what you wear, like. That's where my clothes come from. Like, of course, I like getting fly, but I like to be comfortable too. Like, right. who wants to be fly and uncomfortable? You know what I mean? No, definitely. I, I so, feel that. comfortability is like the biggest thing. Like, mm-hmm. definitely when you go out of town to these festivals or something in the water, there's a lot of walking involved. Yeah. <laughs> so you want <laughs> to be fly and comfortable. Like, so Raph Simmons. Mm-hmm. Um, I like um Kanye's, but Raph Simmons is like my my biggest jump right okay. now. I probably got like five pair. Okay, bet I feel no, that you you fuck with um the Adidas collab they got with Rat Simmons, the Oz, Oswegos, I believe is what they yeah, call. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Okay, the Oswego, yeah, 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 yeah like that's crazy. Pair. Yeah, I seen because I I was I went to a what was that joint? Uh, Extra Butter over in New York, <laughs> and they had like the um the new ones that just came out, the yeah. ones that got the uh the like the, the chrome, the silver. Yeah. All right, so we in Detroit. Let's talk about that. I'm in Detroit for mm-hmm. the 1800 performance. We we performed in Detroit. Okay. Um, so you know, I did my job. I had the uh blue and pink ones on mm. with my uh babe jacket, okay. So I walk out, me and T taking pictures, you know, because T performed last, I performed mm. first. I opened up the whole show, like, Welcome to Detroit, I'm okay, representing from Virginia. Like, so I opened up the whole show, but me and T taking pictures after the show, and I looked down at his feet, I said, You motherfucker, <laughs> you gonna do me like that. He had the new ones? Yes, bro. <laughs> and that was like two months ago. That that before they came out. Oh, he had out. Way like, you know, you know T like Damn. bro. Yeah, no, I know T on his kicks, bro. Definitely. Bro, he like he like a fashion god, like Yeah. Everything I done seen early, like even the first time I met him, the the DRs that I just got last month, he had those the first time I met him. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I'm just mad we don't wear the same size. <laughs> you know how like yeah, he he asked me what size I wear mm-hmm. to ask me like you want these like I t- I even said my feet was bigger than what they was cause mm-hmm. I was looking at his feet he like you know I like shoes so much I'm looking at his shoes like I think he wear a ten and a half mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like yeah I wear a ten and a half he like oh nah these too big for you I'm like fuck <laughs> damn I wanted them shit damn that's crazy man yeah like I. I know he been on his shit. You you yeah. rock with the uh the Pusha T Ultra Boost joints? Hell yeah! yeah. I got I, was there I got when the they Bodega came out. ones. That's crazy. Yeah. The, 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 no, the recent ones when we was, um the ones that came out on Complex Con with the green tag. Yeah, bro. I, I was the there. So bad, bro. Oh my god. I was there, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. I've been around, bro. He done took me to Complex Con. He done took me mm-hmm. everywhere. Like I love, bro. For real. I'm thankful for everything he do for me. You know what I mean? Absolutely, man. But it's just like me. I got to make it happen for, like, not just for me, but for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Facts. Facts. Definitely, bro. So, what can people find you at as far as social media is concerned? What's your tag? I mean, I am Cartel. You can find me on everywhere. Twitter, IG, everywhere. YouTube. Like, just look for me. Just Google me. Once you Google me, like, Cartel, kind of everything on pop up. I done been on everywhere from billboards, Double mm-hmm. XL to... Anything you can name, I done had an article on there before. Like, okay, but I bless bless eighteen hundred for that because they really did a lot for me with the PR wise. Like, no, that's that's dope. I mean, eighteen hundred. That's that's a big that's a big sponsor to have, man. That's yeah. that's super dope. Hey, shout out Black Youngster too. Oh yeah, shout out Black Youngster, definitely, man. Yeah, nah, they, yeah, <laughs> nah. We just we not gonna go further into mm-hmm. that. I just want to say shout out my bro. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Nah, nah so, I'll put you on that. <laughs> no, nah, I, I feel you on that, bro. I feel you on that, man. So before we uh wrap up, I don't want to take up too much of your time, man. I know we we getting kind of late tonight and shit, man. So yeah. you got anything else that you want to add? Is any any closing notes or anything like that, man? Man, anything you do, just make it count, man. Just take it serious. Whatever you do, take it serious. We gonna keep grinding. Excuse me, cause my front, so you might hear. But <laughs> like honestly, like. I'm here for like VA right now, like, mm-hmm. like I ain't working for free, but like I'm here. Like you, you think you want to step your shit up, or you want to just you need? I don't even know what you need. Consolation, whatever you need. Like I'm here to help you. Like I'm here to help everybody who's serious about it. No feelings is on the way. No hard feelings is on the way. That's gonna be the best tape of the year. No features. 
But I do we got a feature on the way. Okay. You know but, what I'm saying? And we got a timetable for the uh for the project or is it still looking um, there? July fourth right now, but okay. anything can get pushed back. We just really waiting for Spud McKenzie like to finish all this cause it's like I wanna drop it right. I don't wanna just give y'all a song because everybody asking for customers like right, I was just right. at the gym yesterday, like the mm. basketball gym. This how I know I need to be outside more. I'm at the basketball gym for two hours. A nigga who was on my team, we balling. We went three games, right? You know, I always wear my chain no matter where I'm at. Mm-hmm. So we get off the court. I pull my chain out. This nigga said, yo, you cartel count up? I said, yeah, nigga. I've been balling with you for three games, bro. <laughs> he like, bro, drop that fucking customers. Like, <laughs> bro, like, you know, like, to me, it ain't, it's, it's not new to me no more. Mm-hmm. But people who be around me. It's still new to them. Like they like, right. bro, what the fuck did he just say? I'm like, he just told me drop my song, bro. I'm like, mm-hmm. so it's just like to me. I think I just need to be outside more to show more love. But that song right there is going to turn Virginia. Up. I think so. Like, cause it's like it's people who got the song who not supposed to have it for real, mm-hmm. and they call me all the time. Like from. Ray Shummer and them DJ, know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. to Take Cobain, to whoever, know what I'm saying, whoever got the song, they just be like, to Big Money period, they like, bro, this is the one, like, this is the best song I heard all summer, like, just to come off fuck a friend, need customers, that's it. like, the first line is so hard that people, like, just adapt to it, I really feel like, what Pusha T told me, is like, that's the, the sail to the boat. Okay. Definitely, man. Well, hey, like I said, bro, you know, when we started, I appreciate you coming up here and, and you know, giving oh, my yeah. platform a chance, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it means a lot. You know I'm what I'm coming saying? back. Hey, and I, as soon I, as customers drop, I'm coming back. Definitely, definitely. I expect I expect to see uh, Miguel and them back, too. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> we're going to no do a group one. Yeah, no, definitely, man. We got to, bro. But again, man, definitely, I appreciate you, man. That's love. You know what I'm Always. saying? Seth, our seven guys sit together, bro. We got to do this damn thing, man. So, hey, everybody, make sure y'all listen to Cartel Count Up. Make sure y'all get his streams up. Make sure y'all keep your eyes out for the next project. And make sure y'all go support him, man, because he's out here doing the damn thing, bro. I appreciate you Count so up. much, man. Absolutely, man. All right, y'all. Sapphire Junction out. Appreciate y'all. Absolutely.